In this guide, I will show you how to select your most frequent use XDR display preset or reference mode. Put that into the menu bar so you can quickly access and change the different reference mode as you're working with different creative workflow. Let's find out how to do this. This is Artist Right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. I made multiple guides explaining Apple Display Reference Mode and also how you can approach calibration on these display. I'll leave a link to those videos in the description below so you can check them out. For this guide, I will show you how you can use macOS Control Center and select your most frequent used reference mode so you can easily switch between them. Now, for this demo, I'm doing this on macOS Monterey. This is a 16-inch MacBook Pro, but this will apply to any Apple Pro display, whether it is external or internal. So for instance, Apple Studio Display, Apple Pro Display XDR, this display inside the 14 and 16-inch MacBook Pro, that is the Liquid Retina XDR display. This guy will also apply to and any Apple Future Pro laptops that they release or display that have these reference mode will apply in the exact same way. So in macOS, normally when you want to go in and change the display reference mode, there's a few ways of doing it. One way is to go into system preferences, display, select your display, and then choose the preset, which is not that far, but you have to open up another window. So in macOS itself, there is this control center. And if you click on it, you can see the display tab. You click on that, you will see another tab that opens up and this allows you a little bit more control. For example, dark mode, night shift, true tone, you can change the display brightness. But if you click on that down arrow, now you have access to all those reference mode that you can see and they are the exact same reference mode that you will see on the system preferences display as well. However, there's a lot of reference mode that I'm not really using and I don't wanna really see in that menu. I wanna just quickly choose the one that I want to use. So to do that, since we're already in System Preferences Display, I'll click on the preset and come down to the very bottom, Customize Preset. On this one, in my full guide, I walk you through how you can create your own custom preset. So if you want to learn how to do that, the video will be in the description below. However, for right now, what I want to do is choose the preset mode that I'm going to use most frequently. That will be Apple XDR Display, Apple Display, and lastly, what I want to do is select Photography P3 D65 with Luminance of 80. So I'll do that, press on Done, and now, even though on this list, I can still access all the other different reference mode, including my custom one that I have created. When I go up to macOS Control Center, it'll be very simple. So click on Control Center, click on Display, and then click on that little arrow on the drop-down list. And now you can see that there's only three reference mode. Those are the ones that I have selected. This makes switching between different reference mode on my display extremely quick and extremely easy depending on the workflow that I'm working on. So anyway, I hope that you find this guide on how to shortcut these frequent use reference mode helpful. If you have any questions or comment, leave them below, give this a like, subscribe and hit on the bell you're new and in our trust.